bit out of his depth here, 342 man. Dave Palmer of the St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Oh, we don't have a time at all for Dave Palmer. Looks ready to go though. And then on the outside, Anthony Whiteman, who I think's matured quite a lot this year, become a bit of a racer. And hopefully, after a successful execution of this run today, he'll run well tomorrow in the final. And Stephen Green, the other athlete from Jamaican athlete who lives in Manchester, works in Manchester. He's run 3.39 in the past, in 1994, not been in such good form recently. This should be relatively simple qualifying for the two Englishmen. Be interesting to see what Christian Stevenson, the Welshman, does. And John Cabot in the Kenyan, he's the danger. Well, it's bound to be tactical. No do want a hard race. It's pretty warm. Humidity as normal, high. The first semi-final of the men's 1500 meters. Three and three quarter laps of the track. A lot of anxiety there. One or two unbalanced. Kevin McKay, Sale Harry has got a lot of ability, but I'm afraid in championships he's not really shown it and done himself justice. Very fast finisher. Should have on paper no difficulty at all in qualifying. First four go through, plus the four fastest losers from the two semifinals. The first semi-final of 1500 is underway. Bit of a rush for places. The Kenyan, John Caboen, one of the fastest men in the world this year at 330.18. In fact, the third fastest in the world. He's followed by the uh, man from uh, Zambia, Chungu. And really, the uh, fastest three, McKay, Whiteman, and Cabo and Brendan, should have no trouble qualifying. Just looking at the back of the group there, Anthony Whiteman is developing a bit of a technique for running out of danger and out of trouble, gets himself just settled in at the back of the group, and then allows himself to work a position. And in a race like this, this shouldn't be a problem at all. He's running safely there at the back of the group. John Cabo and leading through in 58.1. That's relatively speedy. For, uh, for this round. You've only got to beat four people and two of them haven't posted times at all for the for the 1500 meters. As John Kibowen, the Kenyan, sets off 340, uh, 330 runner for 1500 meters. The two Englishmen, it, John, Kevin McKay in the group, I'm sure Kevin will qualify safely here. He's got a strong finish. And Anthony Whiteman, who will take the next lap when he comes down the finishing straight, he sees two laps to go, he'll take a bit closer order. These Kenyans, they'd love to take charge. And of course, if you're in front, you're out of trouble. And you're not going to uh, be involved in the headlong rush on the last lap. Gaborn leads, Chungu is second. Anthony Whiteman still right at the back. Through 400, 800 meters. Just over two minutes. Well, he's a strong man, John Caboen. Remember, we watched him run the World Cross Country in Marrakesh, where he won the four-kilometer race. So he beat Daniel Coleman that, that day in that event. So he's a strong runner from every point of view, physically and tactically. And then now the other strong athlete in this field, Anthony Whiteman, moved to the group now, taking closer order. And now he's got to get himself on the outside, get himself into a position just to avoid the rush. As we watch John Kibowen looking relatively leisurely, having run two minutes for the first 800 metres. And there's Anthony Whiteman sensibly moving up on the outside. With one lap to go in the men's 1500 metres. Whiteman goes second, McKay is third. Stevenson of Wales in fourth place. Also there's Bamar, St Vincent, member of the Belgrave Club, lives in uh, Camden Town. 
300 to go, and Cabowen has made sure of his position. Afraid of nobody. A big rush on behind him, though. It's Whiteman leading it. And he needn't go that hard. The first four qualify, plus the four fastest losers from the two semifinals. And Whiteman perhaps trying to make a point to the Kenyan. Stevenson is up there, the steeplechaser normally from Wales, and Kevin McKay of Sale and England. And they're involved in the scrap for the finish. Four go through, and the four are clear. Whiteman wins for England. Cabowen second for Kenya. In third place, Stevenson of Wales, and fourth was a K of England. I was impressed with Anthony Whiteman there. That was good tactics. He let John Cabowen know he was there. And then the other two British athletes, Christian Stevenson, running for Wales, qualified well. And Kevin McKay qualified comfortably. So that's the semi-final out of the way. There's three Britons through into the final. And they're coming into the finishing straight. Anthony Whiteman, who'd stayed out of trouble at the back of the field, whilst Cabowen has stayed out of trouble at the front of the field. And then he just lets Cabowen know he's as fast as him in the finishing straight. Just let the Kenyan know he's there. That's good tactics. And you watch him. Look, he's edging the Kenyan out. He's not letting him pass. He's keeping his right elbow low, just nudging him there. He's now run the Kenyan out into the fourth lane. Well, if he gets the opportunity to do that in the final tomorrow, we'll be delighted. Takes his vest off, gets himself ready to warm down, get ready for tomorrow. Christian Stevenson, Kevin McKay, all three qualifying comfortably. And look at him. Watch, just watch him now with his head on camera. He decides he wants to let Cabowen know that he's going to be a factor in the final tomorrow. And that's good for his confidence. But look, he's run him into the second lane now. Cabowen moves again, tries to come through. So Anthony Whiteman runs him a bit further with his elbow there, edging him out. Runs him into the third lane and then moves him out into the fourth lane. If he's not careful, he'll run him into the sand pit for the long jump. <laughs> well, Cabowen certainly knows Whiteman's there. But whether Whiteman will be able to see him in the finals is another matter. Cabana 330 man. Uh, Whiteman 332. But certainly you're totally right. Uh, the elbows are going like knitting needle. Well, let's hope he's close enough tomorrow to Kibowen to let him show his right elbow again. There he is, guiding him across the track, out into the fourth lane and the fifth lane. But that's good. I'm, I, that suggests to me that Anthony Whiteman is becoming more confident about his running, and that's good news. Did you ever run like that? Not when anybody was watching, David. <laughs> so the four qualifiers there. McKay was fourth, Whiteman who won it, Cabana is second place, and Stevenson of Wales. They're qualified uh, the top four. There are the details. Slow race, 345.18. Who cares? Tomorrow matters.